Hey, the Bushcraft family here today. Um, today's morning talk. Um, well, before we get in, into the morning talk, I want to thank all of my uh, viewers, subscribers, and all that for helping me. I finally got monetized this morning. I got the email saying congratulations. But I did find out that um, a number of my videos have been flagged. Um, so I've got marks on my monetization already before I even got started. So I have to be careful of what I say. Um, so be warned, you may see, hear some weird words for meaning of things, but we'll get through it guys. But thanks again for all you guys' help and support throughout, uh, these few months that I've been doing this, but let's go ahead and get started with what is on the this morning's morning talk well um some may know or some may not know that i'm legally disabled i had an accident with my leg and basically cut 90 percent of the the muscle the only thing was holding my leg on was the the bone basically and a, a little bit of skin but uh, doctor said I would never walk on a leg again, but I do wa walk around. Uh, eventually, once my leg starts getting like a, a lot of blood flowing through it, you know how your, you work your muscles, your 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 muscles expand. Well, I have to sit and wait and let let that relax because they basically folded over the muscle and then sewed it to the top part of the muscle. So that little bunch right there, once it starts getting a lot of blood flow, it gets a bit painful. So you you just have to relax a little bit. But anyways, um, what I wanted to go over is prepping with the disability or being disabled and being a prepper. Um, you can still you can still be be a prepper. Uh, it's good to prepare for things. Um, not saying anything bad will happen, but it's always good to have a backup plan, and that's what being a prepper is. Um, one of the things we'll go through through kind of a half baked list I came up with. Um, one of the m most important things I would say would be. Medi medication there's a lot of preppers or a lot of preppers who aren't disabled but do still take medication and stuff and it's good to have um, a stockpile of medication I know it's very hard especially if you're disabled and on social security and whatnot for me it, it's really hard because they they will not give you any medication unless you pay for it and um if i pay for my my blood pressure pills for 30 days supply it's like 340 dollars for my blood pressure pills i take two different blood pressure pills so um i haven't checked seen how much the other one would cost me but i know the one is very very expensive and I don't want to get into that conversation about medication, but yeah. Um, so if there's any way possible you could come up with even a 30-day supply would be great. Um, 90 would be even better. <clears throat> now, some medications you can kind of skip a day here or skip a dose. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying to do this. Um, you know your medication more than I do, so uh, like for me, I, I also take um, medication for acid reflex. So if I'm having a light day to where I'm not eating anything that's spicy or which is very seldom, but spicier stuff, I, I can like chuck a pill over and save it because I'm I'm feeling good or whatnot. So that's that's an option. I'm not saying 
for people to do this. This is not, I'm not a doctor, so this is, has to be your decision and you have to talk to, you, you know, you have to go over your medication and stuff like that. A lot of heart medicines, you can't do that. And there's a, other stuff. There's medication for um, uh, mental illness um, that you have to take. <clears throat> and for medication purposes, um, it's always good to learn an alternative, uh, alternative method of uh, whatever, whatever the ailment is that you're being medicated for. Like blood blood pressure, um, it's basically what you eat and stuff. And there are, are there are things that herbs and stuff that will reduce your blood pressure and stuff like that. Um, acid reflex, um, a good thing is um, apple cider vinegar, stuff like that. Now, again, if that's the case. Apple cider vinegar is going to be hard to come by unless you know how to make it yourself. Which, if I did run into apples and stuff like that, I could probably muster up something like that. But Now, to go with the medication and stuff is, whatever your disability is, it could be your a mobility disability. Um... You want to make sure that you have, like, say you're on crutches or something, you want to have make sure you have an extra set of crutches or in case one breaks or something like, you know what I mean. Um, now, wheelchairs, um, you you want to make, I, I, I don't know nothing about wheelchairs or anything, but you want to make sure you have tools and parts and stuff that you could repair if need be um, plus if you had to bug out or whatnot you want, would want to make sure your bug out bag would be secure to your your chair and whatnot and you want to have make sure you have a plan to get out and all that stuff but yeah that's and again I'm gonna bring this up we'll get past this in um, fitness fitness is still important if you're disabled still you can still um, have an exercise program, walking, um, lifting, lifting weights and stuff like that. And just normal exercise and stuff. And, um, another thing you can, you can do, um, their service animals. Um, a good dog would be very, very useful, especially if, um, for security, if you get a big dog, he could very well protect you in certain cases. And um, it's a good companion. But that being said, service dog, you're going to want to make sure you have a stockpile of food for your pets. And right now would be a good time to do so because um, a lot of the pet supplies are dwindling very fast i've found it um uh, walmart is starting to thin down on stuff sent to me because I, I order online for my pet pet supplies and stuff like that and i, I get stuff at walmart because it's cheaper and um, also amazon which is a little bit more but they have started to dwindle on some of the stuff and I'll get a lot of out of stock not in market anymore and stuff like that because it's expensive for them to send, send stuff sorry getting the coffee so this this stuff you have to have to think about ahead of time now um, with that being said you, you also want to make sure you have enough water for your animal, too. So not only will you be drinking, you have to think of your your little pet or your big pet, depending on the case. Um, but now he can drink a little bit. His water cannot, can be a little bit 
not as sanitary so that's something to think about but still you want to make sure it's it's good water too so that is um some, something you have to think about too um, not only your water supply you have to think of his um, another thing is safety in numbers um, if your family is not around um, this this is very touchy situ situation but you can always get in groups and start talking to people, maybe gather friendships and stuff. Because just because you're disabled does not mean that you cannot be um, an asset to a group or something. Because a lot of disabled people are very intelligent. Maybe they can't move around as much as others, but they know stuff. And that can be very useful. And just like I always say, knowledge is one of the most important things in a prepper's arsenal so always think about that and with also with the dog it's always good to have the dog is good for protection i already said that but this is going into the next thing is protection um I'm not saying to go out and buy a bunch of uh i'm I'm watching what I say now. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, well, I'm not saying it's bad, not bad to have one or not good to have one. That's that's your own your own opinion right there. That, that's If you, you don't believe in them, that's fine. Um, I do, um, not only for hunting but protection. Um, if there's always baseball bats, there's always something for self-defense. Um, I know it's hard right now, but you can always take self-defense classes, just basic self-defense knowledge of how to, um, protect yourself in, in a, a bad situation. Now, uh, let's see here. Always make sure you you have your bug out bag close by as normal. Um, one thing I always, um, depending on your mobility, some, some have less mobility than I, I, I would have. So it's always good to have like a stockpile of water and food next to your bed somewhere or in your room close to you that if you got cut off from an area or something or you had to stay in that room for something you'd want to have a few days of protection or not protection but um water and food um, mainly water because that's that's very important now i'm not saying store a bunch of food there or something at least three days of food and water just just in case because you never know um that's just like any any prepper I would one of the things I I dislike when I see a, a prepper come on and they have their video and they show their their room of where all they keep all their preps their bug out bag and their stoves and their solar things and all these tools and nothing in the rest of the house so what happens if that room gets hit by lightning and catches fire or somebody throws a bomb? Crap, I shouldn't have said that. Boom, in there. <laughs> or, you know, anything could happen to that one room. And all of that prepping and all the supplies and everything that you ever work hard for is gone and then now you're the majority of people out there that has to fend for themselves because they have no preps stored so never keep your preps in one spot always spread them out throughout your house um, keep 
a case of this in that closet. Keep a few jugs of water over here in, in this closet. Put some in the basement. All over the place. It may seem weird, but it's always that's that's what why we're preppers to prepare for certain things like that. Um, and also, once we're talking about food and stuff, uh, it is it is extre extremely difficult as being disabled since I'm on Social Security. It's harder for me to get preps and stuff than a normal person that had a job and was getting a better income and stuff. Because Social Security, they give you the bare minimum. So what I try to do is um, take a portion of that and buy a case of this, buy a case of that. Um, if I need something for use for money and stuff I tend to um, save for it um, like if my my pop I uh, save the cans I turn the cans in and I save that money and then I buy whatever piece of equipment that I need um, it's it's a little bit slower but slower process but it can be done um, and one thing that another uh, point to put on this, um, I haven't touched on this with uh, other uh, my other prepping videos, but um, say the plumbing's out, there's no water and stuff, um, where you have to go potty and stuff. Well, I've done a lot of stuff in the garage and stuff, so I've stockpiled um, quite a bit of wood sawdust and chips and stuff like that. So I've bagged that and I've, I've sealed it. So that's one good way to, to be more sanitary, I guess. Make sure you have a bucket, get you some sawdust um, in a separate bag, Put it in there, and that'll be your prep for going to the bathroom, basically. Because you can, all you do is sprinkle that sawdust in there. If you get some dirt, put it with there, and that sawdust will help break down said stuff. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the basic, normal prepping stuff. There's tons of videos out there I've done a few videos myself but I wanted to touch on some things that aren't put out there other preppers usually don't put this out because um, nobody thinks about the, the disabled or the elderly or and stuff like that so it's always somebody needs to put this out so I figure hey I'm already disabled so yeah um, also before we forget get my um, my two videos out it's almost the end of the month already I can't believe it As you may know may not know I'm doing a thing for the month of January to start off the year I'm giving shout outs to two youtubers in each one of my videos so um, yeah let's go ahead and shout out these two youtubers um, the first one is Renaissance Homestead um, they're from down under um, and they've been having a bit of trouble down there because of uh, fire um, they had one next to their house and it wasn't the major fire that, that was going on. It was somebody must have drove over and parked over in the grass or something and started the fire and then took off or threw a match out, cigarette, or it's, it's hard to say. But um, they, they got the fire out and stuff like that, and um, that was good. But make sure you go check them out, good people. Um, learn a lot about gardening, gardening and stuff like that. The next guy... 
everybody should know, the Angry Prepper. But he's got a new channel out, and it's called The Angry Truth. So make sure you guys go over there and sub. If you're not already, more than likely most people are. But um, a lot of stuff you should know. So go check it out. And until uh, next time, please like, share, comment. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And God bless.